What's up guys? I'm outside during the eclipse here in Virginia and today we're going to be talking about, well you guessed it, eclipse t-shirts. I want to talk about why some people succeeded at selling eclipse shirts and why other people didn't. I also want to share the story of three different people that reported back to me. Now I know a lot of you guys were successful, but I want to share three of the biggest success stories that I heard of as far as the eclipse shirts go including the number one story which is going to blow you away as to how successful they were and how much profit they put in their pockets so let's get to it happy eclipse day guys it is finally here it just went by in virginia as you saw i was outside uh, of course you know capitalizing on it by recording a youtube intro but i love making these kinds of videos because right up front i don't want to bury the lead i want to celebrate all of you that made money on Eclipse shirts, my subscribers know I've been talking about it literally since five plus months ago. And I've been telling my private community about it since six, even seven months ago. Like I got, you know, I was on top of that very early in advance. So hopefully you guys did make some big time dollars. I want to celebrate three people specifically of the people that reported back to me their success stories. These were the three biggest. Okay. Natalie made over $1,300 on zazzle okay just zazzle so i'm sure she made more money elsewhere plus she sent me this number last week so during the biggest time for sales hopefully she at least doubled it right i'm sure she's above two grand so clapping it up for natalie now number two is tiffany tiffany made 1700 eclipse shirt sales and again, I mean, there's more shirt sales coming in today. She probably made 1800 by the end of today, by the end of the day today. But get this, guys. This is going to blow your mind. She did it in tier 10. <laughs> she did it with 10 design slots on Amazon Merch. That is insane, okay? Only 10 design slots, 1,700 shirts. She didn't tell me how much profit she made, but that is absolutely incredible. She's going to be eligible for basically tier 4,000. Unfortunately, you cannot skip tier ups in Amazon merch. So she's going to have to sit there and kind of wait to be tiered up. But that is incredible. Clapping it up. Everybody give the clap emojis in the comments. Seriously. And let me know how you guys did. And of course, we have to celebrate the number one success story that I heard. And that was Craig. <laughs> Craig sold 4,386 Eclipse shirts. This is as of yesterday. So I'm sure that number is even higher today. Probably above 4,500. And hopefully that profit number, which yesterday was $18,119 in profit from those Eclipse shirts, hopefully he gets that above 20K. That is the dream, guys. Now, it can be addicting. When you chase trends, of course, there's going to be outliers that achieve this outlier success. I personally don't really chase trends like I used to. I did that in my first year really hard. But of course, it takes a lot of time, energy, effort, and you have to be willing to accept that you're going to fail more times than you're going to succeed but this is why you do it because if you end up getting those big winners this is the type of you know and it's it's also going to vary from niche to niche but you can hit just major major home runs let's call this one a grand slam eighteen thousand dollars profit man he absolutely killed it this uh i don't want to say eclipse cycle eclipse season I think someone told me the next eclipse is like 40 years from now. So I said, all right, set calendar reminder for 40 years from now, if that's true. Anyways, congrats to Craig clapping it up. He gets the virtual uh, crown or the virtual trophy for eclipse shirts. Now, the other half of this video is why didn't we all succeed selling eclipse shirts? Okay. The first thing I want you to consider is when you uploaded, it definitely helps to upload your shirts a month, even two months in advance, but Here's the thing that we were talking about in my private community. I'm pretty sure we talked about this in October of 2023. And we do multiple live streams a week, by the way. And that's linked in the description, by the way. Okay. We looked at the Eclipse shirts in October and noticed that the BSRs, the bestseller ranks on Amazon, which is a public data point that everybody can, can use as a gauge of the demand. In October of 2023, the Eclipse shirts were already selling like pretty well, they weren't just like 1 million BSRs, they were in like the hundred thousands, like 100,000, 150,000, that sort of a range, which is not like making anybody rich, you know what I mean? It ain't, it ain't Craig here, Craig would not be impressed by that, right? Like when you look at bestsellers, he's probably got at least one of them. <laughs> but like people were making steady sales of Eclipse shirts in October and you don't need to be like a t-shirt selling genius to know that, you need to number one, know that the niche is coming, a lot of people didn't know. 
until it was maybe, I don't want to say too late, but until they, they didn't know till they knew. Let's just say that. But you also have to act on it and you have to be in a niche that is going to sell that well six months in advance, which the Eclipse shirts, they were doing that. So consider when you uploaded. Fortune really favors those that, that move early, okay? There is a first mover's advantage. Just, I don't want this video to go on forever. So okay, I'm going to kind of mute myself, okay? But like, just remember that the strongest signal you can send the algorithm on Amazon, on Etsy, anywhere you sell is a sale. The earlier you upload, the longer your listing sits on the platform, more opportunity it has to sell. One sale often leads to two, leads to four, leads to eight, leads to 16. And if you're Craig, <laughs> leads to 4,000, okay? <laughs> that can happen, guys. So consider when you uploaded. Um, also, guys, you can check out Merch Dominator go to seller trends on the left-hand side and set the time period, okay, to one day. So I actually searched for Eclipse and I set the time period to one day. We are now looking at shirts that are performing extremely well in the last 24 hours. This can be indicative of upcoming trends if you, I already searched for the word Eclipse. So of course they're gonna be all Eclipse shirts, but it can help you find upcoming trends as well if you do not search for anything, which is the default. Consider your design quality, all right? Now, this is subjective, so it's one of the hardest things to coach, all right? In my courses, I literally, we just go through bestsellers. We go through, like, catalogs of bestsellers that are, you know, bestseller design styles across multiple niches, and we just talk about what they do well. You know, it's kind of like, hey, like, take note of this, 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 and this. You know, you don't need to combine everything into one design, but let's just call this approach one design style. Let's call this approach another design style. Kind of let it resonate in your brain and remember them or write them down and then reference them later. But your designs have to be air quotes, good enough. If they're not good enough, it doesn't matter how many people see them. They're not going to get purchased. It's not worth your time. You know what I mean? If you're not a good designer, it's all good. Neither am I start with text only text only no joke. Over half the t-shirt sales I make in a year on Amazon merch are text based. No joke. Okay. Consider design quality. If you need inspiration, guys, Literally, go to Merch Dominator. It's linked in the description. Click Best Sellers, okay? The first option under MBA and KDP and just scroll down. I mean, in this case, I searched for the word Eclipse, but if you're just looking for design styles, literally do not type in anything into the search bar. Just scroll through the best sellers. It'll put them all in order from best seller to, you know, least best seller, I guess you could say, um, and just get design inspiration. You also need to consider micro niches. It's one thing to upload a shirt that just says Eclipse, 408 2024 right but a lot of people do that it's so easy it's so obvious what about the micro niches they tend to pop up over time the nice thing about something like the eclipse though is that there isn't a lot of existing competition so you can capitalize on that okay micro niches for instance did anybody else notice there's a lot of shirts that are eclipse cat themed i don't know why i'm not a cat guy but i don't care as a t-shirt seller if i see these selling if i see there's demand i'm gonna go carve out my piece of the pie course merch dominator i just typed in eclipse cat so in merch dominator i can type in nothing go to bestsellers type in nothing it'll show you the bestsellers and it's like oh there's a lot of eclipse shirts so i type into the search bar eclipse i'm looking at eclipse shirts oh there's a lot of eclipse cat shirts so now i go to the search bar type in eclipse cat you see what i'm doing i'm micro niching that's often how i go about it last but not least guys how about considering cross niches okay eclipse plus what are some of the most common things people cross niche with? Nursing, teaching, of course, you know, Bigfoot, right? <laughs> and it's not as random as it seems. I wanted to give a shout out to a member of my private community that was so excited. They literally just popped into their head. They're like, why don't I make an Eclipse Bigfoot shirt? And they told me about it because they instantly, like the first day, got multiple sales and they knew they were onto something. Unfortunately, this was like last week. So they didn't get to, you know, get a big major win from it. But I absolutely love the idea of it. You know, Eclipse and Bigfoot is just one example of cross niching. You know, someone in my private community thought of it. I was like, I love that idea. And they were rewarded in the form of sales, guys. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. Check out my full print on demand course linked in the description. And I've been referencing my private community a lot. It's because I do multiple live streams a week. It's the easiest way to work directly with me. We have a private message board too, where we all help each other and a lot of like pre-written resources, stuff like that. Discount codes on every tool you ever hear me reference, by the way, as well, linked in the description. Thank you though for watching. Enjoy the eclipse. Please like, and subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know how you did in terms of sales in the comments, and I'll see you soon with a new video.